KDE is now pretty much the same size as XFCE. Let's talk about it. This video is brought to you by CDN77, the content delivery network used by space agencies and CentOS. I also am using this on ChrisTitus.com to speed up my website. So if you're interested in this, click the link in the description. So in late October, there was an article that came out by Jason Evangelo, and I gotta say, it was pretty amazing. Now, I wanted to talk about this subject for a while now, but I wanted to wait until it was more mainstream so you could see the difference if you run a KDE spin of pretty much all the normal distributions out there. Now, this article, and I'll flash it up on the screen, basically walks through and goes over XFZE versus KDE. And, and what happens with this is it uses less RAM than XFCE, is kind of like the first in, in the first paragraph, and it just depends on the testing. But really, as you go through this article, you'll see a lot of these benchmarks, it's really, really close to XFCE in all of them. Some of it beats it, some of it's more, but it's all about the same between the 500 and mid 600 megabytes of RAM used. So with the range between that 500 and 600 mark, you'll notice that it doesn't really matter too much when it comes to KDE versus uh, X, uh, XFCE, it's really to the point where it no longer uh, matters when it comes to uh, saving memory. KDE's just as good, which is pretty awesome. And then also Zeb from Destination Linux ran some comparable tests as well. Now on his, XFCE did win out in almost all of them, uh, as you see the difference between Arch XFCE getting about 949 megabytes of usage, KDE Neon getting 957, Xubuntu using 1028, and then regular Ubuntu using 1136. So it just kind of gives you that idle range to kind of go through here, where, you know, with this, KDE Neon being the only 5.17 KDE at the time of this writing, now you could probably go to Kubuntu or the KDE spin of Manjaro. I know because I have that on my production machine inside. It uses 5.17. And you'll see these results, which is pretty amazing. Uh, you'll see like vanilla Ubuntu, you know, no, not very surprising that, you know, Gnome's probably a couple hundred megabytes higher than most of the other environments out. So with this out there, I mean, it's kind of amazing that XFCE is about the same because there's less functionality really when it comes to XFCE versus KDE. Uh, KDE just has a lot more utilities and things and they also have a bigger development staff. So it, it's just a difference between the two, but it was really neat to see KDE focus on the 5.17 release and make it sleeker and just better uh, in performance wise, you know, not very rarely you see this in the XFCE team. Jason actually reached out to them and they said, Hey, we were a small team. We haven't actually been working too much on performance. So these results really aren't that surprising. So, uh, this is kind of interesting. So as far as all this goes, it's really, I just kind of want to put this out here. KDE has always been my favorite, even though nowadays I'm not even using uh, KDE on most of my desktops as I've kind of moved away from it uh, to more of a custom uh, custom made desktop environment that I'm really just using window manager with some utilities from uh, the Mate or Mate uh, desktop environment. So uh, it's really kind of cool to see this as KDE is usually what I point a lot of newbies to. And it's really cool to see now all this kind of hitting mainstream as of you know this month and last month, uh, a lot of them running into KDE 5.17. So I wanna leave you with this. If you are on KDE, you can check your actual version by just doing K Info Center and uh, from your terminal. And actually I'll flip over to the desktop, run that real fast just so you can kind of see what the results are. Um, just so you know that you're on 5.17. And if you're not, you might upgrade your KDE instance to 5.17 and you're going to see these performance increases. So really neat to see them working on just streamlining it, not just making this bloated desktop environment. Um, I just love KDE for this. Even though I'm not personally using it very much anymore, 
I still love it as a desktop environment because it's just so uh, inclusive and complete. You have all your utilities, you have all your tools. So if you're a noob coming over, it's just all right there. And it seems very intuitive to me. But I just wanted to showcase this. That's amazing. You can get down to like a half a half a gig of RAM and have a complete desktop environment. Amazing. So with that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. And as always, thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.